Example, for the beam given, find the value of EI deflection at 2 feet from R2 and the diagram uniform load from point 0.1 up to R4 feet and let's designate this uh, A, this is point B and point C. From point A which is reaction at 1, reaction 1 and at point C, reaction 2. From R2, we have 2 feet to find the value for deflection EI. So let's first find the reaction. So summation moment at A is equal to 0 and we can find the value for R2. R1 times 0, that's 0. And uniform load, 80, multiplied by the length or the width or the length of the uniform load, that's 4 feet. And from the resultant, that's 1 half of the length of the uniform load, that's 4 over 2 or 2. And clockwise direction to A, that's positive. And R2, and the direction is counterclockwise, so R negative R2 and the distance that's 2 plus 4 that's 6 feet and equate that to 0. And R2 is equal to that's 80 times 4 times 2 that's 8 and we divide by 6. So 80 times 6 or 80 times 8 that's 640 and we divide by 6. And the least common is by 6 so 640 over 6 or in fraction that's 320 over 3 and it is in pounds and then summation of forces along y and equate that to 0 and we have three loadings we have reaction 1 reaction 2 and the uniform load so reaction 1 so that's positive and uniform load that's downward so negative 80 and multiplied by the length of the uniform load that's 4 feet and the value for R2 which is 3, 3, 320 over 3 and it is positive so plus 320 over 3 and equate that to 0 and R1 is equal to transpose negative 80 times 40 so that's positive 80 times 40 that's 320 320 and negative 320 over 3 and the value for R1 it is equivalent to in fraction that's 640 all over 3 pounds so we have now the value for R2 and R1 so R1 it is equivalent to 640 over 3 3 and R2 that's 320 over 3 and to find the deviation of, of A to C so deviation from A to C T of A to C that's 1 over EI and multiplied by area AC and the distance from X sub A. So these are the summation from A to C. Three loadings, a reaction one, a uniform load, and a concentrated load. And we will be finding the deflection at point B. First, we will determine the moment based on the reaction 1. So, moment 1 is equal to R1, 640 all over 3, and multiplied by the distance from A to B, and that's 4 feet. So 640 times 4 all over 3 and that's 2560 all over 3.
and to find M2 and M2 is designated at this point so this is M1 M2 and this is M3 for M2 so M2 is equal to 320 all over 3 for reaction 2 and multiplied by the distance 2 feet and this is 640 all over 3 and it is positive and for M3 it is based on the second degree and the formula for the moment for a uh, second degree so that's the uniform load 80 and multiplied by the length from A to B so that's 4 and the resultant and multiplied by the half of the distance for of the uniform load that's 4 over 2 or 2 so 80 times 4 that's 20 times 2 that's 640 and it is negative sign because the uniform load, load is in downward direction now we have the moment 1, moment 2 and moment 3 we can solve the area so we will designate the triangle as area 1 this will be area 2 and this will be area 3 at area 1 for division from A to C that's T A over C is equal to 1 over E then the summation of area A C and multiplied by X A first for the area 1 so that's a triangle so 1 half of the length that's 4 and the height that's M1 or 2560 all over 3 and the distance of x sub a is from a up to the centroid of the triangle and this is two thirds of l so two thirds of l and it is equivalent to 2 times 4 or 8 over 3 and this one is one third of l so one third times 4 that's 4 thirds so we will multiply x sub a of area 1 that's 2 thirds of l or 8 over 3 this is 8 over 3 next for area 2 and it is also positive the height or m2 is 640 over 3 and it is a triangle so 1 half and 640 over 3 and the distance is from B to C that's 2 and from A to the centroid of point or area 2 that's one third of L so one third of 2 or 2 thirds and the distance from A up to the centroid of area 2 we will add 4 meters plus 2 thirds and this will be 4 plus 2 over 3 and last for the area 3 and it's downward so therefore it is negative sign and the formula for the second degree is one third of base times height and the base or the distance or length is 4 and multiplied by the height or m3 that's 640 and to find the x sub a the centroid of the second degree from the left that's this is the distance is 3 over 4 of l and this is 1 fourth l so from a up to centroid of area 3 so 3 fourth, 3 fourth of l that's is equal to 3 fourth of l and l is 4 close parenthesis and simplify so that's 1 over ei so 1 half times 4 times 2560 all over 3 times 8 and divide by 3 
this is 40,960 and divide by 3 times 3 that's 9 next plus 1 half so 4 thirds 4 to 12 plus 2 so 14 14 times 2 times 640 divided by 2 so that's 8960 all over 9 minus 2560 and close parenthesis 8960 all over 3 EI and that's the division from A to C so let's copy T of A sub C that's 8960 all over 3 EI T of BC and it is equals to 1 over EI and area BC and X bar B and for BC it's only the triangle with the reaction 2 or 1 over EI multiplied by 1 half of the triangle that's 1 half of 640 over 3 and multiplied by the length or the distance that's 2 and X sub B is from C to centroid of the triangle so this is 2 third and T B of C so 640 times 2 times 2 all over 2 times 2 3 times 3 that's equivalent to 1800 all over 9 EI and that's deviation from B to C by ratio and proportion and proportion the big triangle T of AC is to the distance AC and Y to distance BC so this will be T of AC over distance length of AC that's 6 feet is equal to the ratio from B that's Y Y all over the distance from B to C is 2 and substitute the value for T of C that's 8960 8, all over 3 EI and Y is equal to AC that's 8960 all over 3i 2 over 6 and y is equal to 8960 all over 9ei and that's y and to find the deflection at point b so deflection at point b is equal to y minus t sub b c so y the total distance at point b so that's deflection at b plus deviation of b to c and the value for y that's 8, 000, 8960 all over 9 ei and is equal to the known deflection at b plus tbc that's 1080 1280 all over 9 EI and deflection B so 8960 minus 1280 that's 7680 all over 3 EI in terms of EI delta or deflection so EI deflection at B is equal to 7680 over 3 that's 2500 2560 all over 3 and it is in pound foot cube and this is the value for EI delta 3 and that's the answer